On today's show, Disney's attempt at bringing animated eyeballs out of the Uncanny Valley is, well, uncanny. You can finally have your very own hoverboard, but you gotta build it yourself. That was really disappointing. And the Museum of Modern Art adds a 4D printed dress to its permanent collection. It's episode 100! It's tomorrow daily! Welcome, everybody. Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm your host, Ashley Skeva. Joining me as always, Kale Anonymous. Yay! It's our one. We made it to 100 episodes. We got a little cupcakes. cupcakes. So it's to celebrate. Hopefully, 200 gets us a, a bigger cupcake. I'll buy a cake next time oh, for 200. Oh, a cake. Yeah, okay. for 200. I'll You're going to start cake. wearing uh, out of ideas once you get to like 500. That's true. That's true. I got to start thinking about the long game. Yeah, you got to start thinking I got to really start worrying about that. I'm so sorry I wasn't here okay. last week. There wasn't any episodes. I was really sick. I'm still a little bit sick, mm -hmm. but I feel like a human being today in some way. Uh, so hopefully I won't infect anybody here, but mm -hmm. uh, enough of that. Let's hit the headlines. So I think all of us out there and, and you, we all kind of know that like the hardest part about making an animated figure seem real is the eyes, yeah. right? We always are kind of like, Whoa. Eyes are the window to the soul. And yeah. usually we notice that animated creatures or people are soulless because their eyes are super weird. Just blank stares. Yeah, or just, you know, they don't quite look right. So this is a product of Disney research. This is a researcher, a PhD student named Pascal Berard uh, at Disney Research Zurich. His team of researchers are aiming to raise the bar on computer-generated eyes. So he says that usually when we animate an eye, we combine the sclera and cornea spheres and the iris, which is the part with color, is usually rendered as either a flat disc or it's a cone shape, which means it doesn't quite, uh, it doesn't quite pass as real. So this, on the other hand, is, uh, is exactly what they've been doing, which is they are splitting up the renders of each part of the eye via capturing an actual person's eye. So they captured nine different people's eyes. And it takes about 20 minutes, and it involves uh, LEDs. It's got um, colored LEDs that reflect off the cornea so that they can be accurate. Uh, but check this out. I mean, there's all these comparisons to eyes. Those are the rendered ones on the right there. And if you're just listening to this on the audio podcast, you really should check out how eerie it is. Yeah, that it's the, super real. I mean, these are super realistic eyeballs. Um, but yeah, it takes about 20 minutes, and then after it's done taking the capture, a computer stitches everything together with an algorithm uh, that is specialized that takes about four hours per eye. Oh, they got the dilation down, too. Nice. So here's the crazy thing. So the thing that they're showing off right now is, yeah, dilation, pupil dilation, um, and, and subjecting it to a false light source, which is what you're seeing right now. Oh, nice. That's a fake eye and how it works with their research. Uh, but right now, they're saying, after, now that they've accomplished this with the iris. Um, oh, is that a fake face? That is a fake face. That is a fake face. Um, and it's really amazing because these guys took a fully rendered face and then added their own uh, eyeball renders to it. And it made it look so much more realistic. And they were saying it could usher in a new era of animation in both film and games. Awesome. Very cool. Which is. Pretty now cool. we can replace uh, any celebrity that's dead. We can officially bring them make back. it look good. Yeah, we can bring back Audrey Hepburn. We can't really scan their corneas though, because I would imagine they're decomposed. Can, you know, yeah. Probably do a little. Probably not. Well, very now good. Robert Downey Jr. will never die. How about oh, that? Oh yeah, there you I'll go. go with that. Anybody alive now? Yeah, we'll anybody alive now? Pretty, pretty line solid up. Let's computer scan render. those corneas. Let's get this going. Get you loaded into a simulation. It's great. Speaking of future tech, yeah, which is every story. 2015. 2015 is coming up, and everybody was afraid that they're not going to get their hoverboard. Well, guess what? It's okay. We're going to get our hoverboard thanks Yay. to Mr. Hoverboard and Ryan Craven. Now, this is a hoverboard uh, that is kind of a DIY project. It is made up of four um, four battery-powered leaf at, blowers. Look at these leaf blowers. It's not exactly small. Look but, at them go. But it's four leaf blowers, which you can buy on Amazon.com, and I'll explain how that all comes together. But it's insanely loud, of course, because oh, yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard one leaf blower. But four. Yeah, one. Uh, Pretty but noisy. This, the great thing is this doesn't require a specific surface like the other the other hoverboard. Yeah, from right. Hendo. The Hendo. Yeah. Yeah. And it's also cheaper. Because Way cheaper. The other one was like what two thousand. Ten grand. Ten grand. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was this ten, one. Ten thousand. This one costs 
a mere five hundred dollars to put together. Oh. Yeah, and you can basically buy all of the stuff from Amazon. Is is what he's bragging. Okay. And uh, and he also has the uh, he has the layout online. You could just oh. see it see it for yourself. So if you guys blueprints. have four leaf blowers laying around, yeah, if you have five hundred dollars, uh, then you can go ahead and uh, and do that. So that's pretty amazing. Yeah, he's he's showing it off to a bunch of skateboarders. They're they're going up ramps. I, I don't think you can do like a what is it four hundred? Yeah, 900? I, don't, I don't think you're doing any any backflips or anything. Let's but get. you know, they're look at he's pushing the kids. He's like, okay, everybody, kids, y'all get a ride on my leaf blower hoverboard. So whereas the other one was off like magnetics and whatnot. Yeah, it was a metal one. skate park. So this one's just wherever. This it one's off like of the air. Good. I gotta say, as a Back to the Future fan, it has a little bit more of that give. You know, when they jumped yeah. on it, it would like lower Kinda a little bit. Yeah, sink um, a little. And honestly, this one looks a lot more fun than the other one. It does. Well, it, it, I mean, this is pretty cool because, you know, you can go get those instructions. Mm -hmm. You can build your own. $500. If you do, uh, send us video, obviously, yeah. because we want to see it. But I really like that he said he's hoping to bring the noise down in the next build and also uh, go over water, which is something that even even Marty McFly couldn't do. I think I too. think maybe maybe make it quieter. <laughs> I think it's number one. Goal. Four leaf blowers. Silence. Did we have audio on that clip? No. I, well, I didn't want to blow out everybody's eardrums. Uh, but just you know, think about the Use worst leaf blower you've ever heard. Yeah. It's seven a.m. I'm sure we've all been there. And Times then four. Yeah, and then just multiply it by four. Okay. Cool. Uh, that brings so us to our hashtag go. of the day, though, which is hashtag TDDIY. Mm -hmm. Which I'm just curious, what cool movie prop or video game prop could you make out of stuff in your own house right now? Like, are you, like, are you actually able to make without any training? No, I mean, like, let's just, you know, like, MacGyver in it together. Okay, what could you what put you, together in your house? What do you got? Uh, I was thinking I could probably make, I don't know, like a really cool rubber band gun or, I mean, if I really worked hard on it, maybe like a Samus arm cannon, like that shot stuff, but with like a rubber bands on the inside. Like with okay. roll, like I don't know, something like that. Um, I I would I would create a uh, a learning pod so that you could like watch like tutorial things. It's basically just put a screen over my bed. Would it be like that like hat that has the you could put your phone inside that hat and then you can just watch stuff right in front yeah. of you? Yeah, so it'd be a, like a pod. You'd be like, sorry, honey, I'm gonna go learn Spanish. And then uh, you'd lay on your bed, and there would be a screen <laughs> above you, but you'd end up looking at Reddit all day. That's so. Uh, there you go, sleeping pod. So, what could you? What could you cobble together? What could you cobble together? What would, would you cobble together? I, somebody, I just don't really like this idea. Somebody's an engineer. Somebody's, somebody's gonna, somebody's figure gonna out be like good. a lever cutter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. On. And then you'll be on our show next week. All right. um, okay. So on that note, we got to talk about our last story of the day, which is a 4D dress. So. I haven't really heard of a four-dimensional dress, but apparently this is referred to in 3D printing as something that can change its shape once it's printed. So you're usually referring to 3D printed objects that change in response to its environment. That's not fabric, my friends, that we're seeing on this dress. That's a 3D printed dress. Cool. Full of rigid material, which is pretty amazing. This is a design studio called Kinematics. And um, they wondered if they could make a 3D printed dress that actually moved as opposed to something that was very rigid and solid uh, that had no movement to it. And they, they in fact, did it. So here's how it works. Uh, you can see it's a bunch of triangles. And all of these interlocking triangles, there are 2,279 <sighs> triangles on this dress. But the cool thing about that is, is because of all those triangles, they have 3,316 hinges, which means the dress can move and crumple just like real fabric which is pretty amazing. And it's plastic. And it's all plastic. Okay. Everything about that dress is plastic. Uh, the really neat part about this that I was not aware of is there's actually an app, this is it right here, that you're seeing attached to this garment that also went into the, uh, the MoMA. Like it's in their permanent design collection. Like oh. this is a very uh, big deal for them. Uh, you can actually design your own dress from an uploaded 3D body scan. So you can make your own custom 3D printed dress in different colors and different designs. So you can see they're like, okay, I want more of a, uh, I want wider skirt or I want a mini skirt or I want this, or I want this. You can design your own dress. Unfortunately, as of right now, you can't quite buy the dress, but they're saying they hope to make it available 
uh, for people to buy in the future. Like they want people to be able to design their own 3D printed dresses and things like that. I would love to wear 3D printed clothes. Well, so this website, if you go there right now, if you go to... Um, 3D this printed is, tie? It's, it's nervous, but with dashes in between all the letters. Uh -huh. uh, if you go to nervous system, you can build a necklace, you can build cuffs, rings, you can build stuff in 3D and you can change the shape of the, uh, like the honeycombs on the inside and stuff. It's really cool. I was playing with it this morning. <sighs> That's it's really, really cool. cool. And they run from like, I want to say there was a, like the ring is like 32 bucks. Like it's really reasonably priced. And then of course it gets crazy when you talk about bigger pieces. And the dress, I'm sure. Um, so, but there like was even thousand. like a bronze necklace like that you could get oh, wow. the 3D like dipped in bronze. It was just, it's really cool. So yeah, here's some of the, some of the site there. You could see some of the things you can order. You can even order like housewares. They have like vases and a vases. things. You, vase. vases. you can order yeah, a vase. A very nice 3D print. printed Sorry. vase. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's really neat. You can go over to Nervous System and then it, it, they send the design to Shapeways and then they print it. How likely it. would you be to wear a 3D printed dress? I'm actually, I mean, I totally would wear a 3D printed dress 100%, but I actually think I might order a necklace for CES. And like wear a 3D printed necklace at CES. Oh, be kind of cool. Idea. I'll look and see if they have ties. I'll look and see if they have ties. If they have ties, I'm in. Okay. Because like I'm going sure. to, I'll wear, yeah. I'm sure we can find a oh unit 3D God. printed tie. Oh my God, yeah, we'll wear a tie. We're going to need to find show. some 3D yeah. printed stuff. And then, then that'd be a reason to tune in. Yeah. Because uh, there's no other reason. No, because CES. Check out our 3D. Yeah, you just yeah. only want to see our 3D yeah. printed jewelry. Yeah, why watch CNET for CES stuff? Yeah, you see that's just sarcastic. jewelry only. Yeah, um, yeah so that's, uh, that's this is really neat. I think it's really cool. It's awesome that they got inducted into a museum. And uh, I do have a question, though. Okay. Uh, you probably don't know I'll this. I'll try to but answer it's, it. But it's a good general question. Is it heavy? Because it like that much plastic seems kind of heavy. I think it might be a little heavy, but I would say no heavier than a, a piece of solid metal necklace, like a big. Oh, she's jumping around. See, oh, oh yeah. thank See, you, producer she can, Logan. She can hop. She yeah. can turn. Look, it's got like clothes. There's a little weight, weight a little, to it. Yeah, there's a little weight. But to I mean, it. You, I think you have to to have that swing to it. Because if there wasn't yeah. really a lot of weight to it, you wouldn't see as much of the movement. I want to call it fabric, but it's not in the plastic, I guess. That is. That's super cool. It I was really wondering neat. what future clothes would be like, and I think this I think is a it's, little. Yeah, I feel like this is part of it. Can you so. imagine? Remember, like when Cher? Sorry, we're we're going completely we're, on a tangent. We're gonna just take a take a tangent drive just right now. Just hold on a sec. Do you remember when Cher and Clueless is looking up like all her clothes and designing her outfit? Yeah. yeah. Imagine if that's what we're doing in the future. Is we're like, ah, I want to wear whatever this is. And then it just prints out my shirt. Prints out your shirt, and then you just pick it up, and that's it. Oh, I like it. I yeah. like it. So there you go. Well, on that note, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Uh, we have basically our episode 100 extravaganza, which is just a whole bunch of your user feedback. That's and, cool. of course, our phone talk for the day. So don't click away. It's Tomorrow Daily. Welcome back to the show. Uh, Kale is already digging into his episode 100 celebratory cupcake. Do you think which it's going to last 20 minutes without a cupcake? It's chocolate, so I think it's going to get stuck all over his teeth, but we'll see how that goes. That's what you came for. Yep. Uh, well, everybody, it's time for our 100th episode extravaganza, mm. which is pretty much just a whole bunch of your user feedback. So we asked you guys to use the hashtag TD100. To tell us like your favorite moments, your favorite stories, your favorite uh, whatever. And uh, you guys really came up with some good ones. August wrote to us and said the Crazy Cart XL and the hoverboard from episode 72. That was the Hendo yeah. that we were just talking about, which is pretty awesome. Um, so way to go. Very, very, uh, very pre precise. Yeah, he, the hoverboard. He knew exactly. The hoverboard is definitely a, a shining moment. He was right on our yeah. wavelength. Um, which is awesome. And then uh, Rahul wrote to us and said, the quirky and zany sign-in, the best geek talk show in the known universe, and the deep and loaded sign-out, Be Good Humans. <laughs> wow. I want this guy to write my biography. I know, his, me his too. Adjectives are amazing. So good. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the deep and loaded sign-out. That's my favorite, one of my favorite parts of the deep show. Deep and loaded. Is that we say, Be Good Humans. Uh, Shell Days wrote to us and said, episode nine of Tomorrow Daily with the Luigi Death Stare. <laughs> I loved all the Mario Kart races. Anger is human. Creative venting is to be a good human. Um, I agree. And so you weren't here for that. We did this awesome thing when the Luigi Death Stare broke out and everybody was crazy about it. Rich and I did an opening where we did the, we said, you know, watch out for the Luigi Death Stare. And then we played Luigi. And then both of us were like, as, as if we had gotten hit by shells, like <laughs> slow mowing. It was really fun. It was a blast. It was, cool. rolling. Okay. It was great. Uh, and then Mark wrote to us and said, my favorite part of Tomorrow Daily is Kill Anonymous and his red pants. Where can I get these? And all of them cool shirts. Hashtag gel. 
You, this guy, this guy asks on every video I'm on where I get my red pants. Where do you get those I'm red not, pants? I'm not ready to tell you. I don't even Maybe know. Maybe after a few more me. times you ask, then then it will be all be revealed. Maybe a hundred more episodes. It wasn't easy. That's what I'm going to tell you. But it wasn't easy to find them. <laughs> red pants. Uh, Andrew wrote to us and said, "Your really cheesy jokes and sarcasm is what makes the show hilarious." And the photoshops. Remember this? Of oh course my we do. god! I forgot. Didn't I ask him to give me the candy cane? Like he put the dunce cap on. No, I, yeah, and he added the lollipop. And That's I the tweeted, black and white one. I tweeted at him and I said, "I do, I need a candy cane." Though. And you got oh, a no, little I'm sorry, lollipop. lollipop, lollipop yeah, yeah, it was great. Uh, and then Richard P. wrote to us and said, uh, emailed us and said, Hey guys, I started watching Tomorrow Daily, I believe we're on episode 40. My favorite moment other than having my photo feature was clicking on the next episode one morning and then seeing Kale sitting next to Aww. Ashley. Kale has been one of my favorites on another unmentioned YouTube channel. <laughs> and I'm very happy to witness his craziness once again. Keep it up, you two, for another 100 episodes. Hashtag Team Pizza. Oh. <laughs> P.S. Ashley's still waiting for our first date. Richard Ray Powers. That was really nice. There's, we're feeling so much amazing. love right now. I love the, I love the, like on un, another un unmentionable. Yeah. It's the channel that shall not be named. <laughs> uh, and also, I will have to ask my husband about that first date. I don't yeah. know how he's gonna feel about that. I'm sorry. He um, might be. He might be. Uh, he might be all right with yeah. it. I don't know. He's, he's pretty cool. He's sick right now too. Maybe he's yeah. like a little loopy. Maybe he's just like, oh please, just get out of the house. <laughs> like, I'm so sick. Um, Richard C. wrote to us and said, to the wonderful crew at Aww. Tomorrow Daily, so I was going to tweet my appreciation for the show, but 140 characters is not enough. Aww. I didn't know how to pick my favorite episode or part. I have liked them all, but the ones you used, my user feedback and photography would have to stand out. Stand out. Being selfish, I know. <laughs> if I were still in the Navy and still stationed in SoCal, I would have to treat y'all the pizza of your <gasps> choice, Kale, and so good old ham and cheese sandwiches for you, Ashley, to congratulate you on 100 episodes. Is that a thing for you? Uh, it's a running gag. I'm like I'm made of ham and cheese. Uh, I didn't forget to shout out to Rich for being there in the beginning and hope all is good for him. Take care and enjoy the little things in life because you never know what they'll amount to. Richard C. Wow. So it's a really nice email. I really like that. And also, yeah, totally. Shout out to Rich DeMiro, our original OG Tomorrow Daily host. Uh, he's uh, He's got a, a second second son now. He's uh, he had a Him and his wife had a baby back in just October. Just, just having him. I know. Well, yeah, it's like he's got a toddler now and I think a, a fresh newborn. So it's life's pretty busy for him. But uh, yeah, huge shout out to him for helping us get the show off the ground. And then, of course, Kale for coming in and taking over, which yeah. is pretty, uh, pretty delightful. You see, it's still warm. I know it is. <laughs> uh, Davis B wrote to us and said, hey, love your show. I cannot wait for the 100th episode. I watch TV every day and Woo! you always make me laugh. My favorite moment was when you were talking about the Kickstarter campaign where you play games while they take your blood and Kale got very quiet. Kale is always so crazy that it was unbelievable how scared he was. Happy 100. Thanks, David Barrow. You were a little bit freaked out by that. I can't believe you brought it up, though. Are you embarrassed? No, I just don't want to, I didn't want to think about that. It's now so you brought it back. Gross. Just good memories. <laughs> Calm down. You're having a nice <laughs> cupcake right now. You're going to choke to death on that it's cupcake. It's so gross. Oh. It was really gross. It was okay. a really gross story. Any more? Uh, yeah, we got one more. Okay. Uh, my favorite TD memory was when Kale used to wear his hair like this. Uh, that's not Kale. That's Rich. Just kidding. Keep up the great work. <laughs> you have changed yeah. so much since episode one. Yeah, I had a, I got a tan. You did? You dyed your hair I black? I dyed my hair back, and I really just loosened up in my, in my clothing Yeah, style. yeah, no, totally. We, um, basically, we just put you yeah. through like and a... And also took, got off my Ritalin. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yeah, you're... Yeah, totally. Totally unfocused, crazy. Like yeah, just, yeah. I had a few kids, apparently. No, what we did was oh. we... Yeah, we just cloned Rich, and then we like... But it was a kind of a crazy... 3D printed, 3D printed Rich. This is three... It's like a copy. It's like multiplicity. is a copy of a copy yeah. of a copy. It's kind of like that. Oh, no. But in the best way. <laughs> no. In the best no, way. that didn't end well. Copying, copying. So fair, don't fair. Listen to that's her. fair. That's totally fair. Uh, you, what was your favorite moment? Do you have a favorite moment? You know, I like for. I really loved launching the show. I mean, I like. I worked really hard on putting the show together, and the idea of the show was always that I wanted to make a technology show for CNET that was a show where people could watch it and feel happy when they left. They weren't angry or annoyed with the state of technology, and I think there's a lot of cynicism out there. Nice. in the industry and I, I just I think enthusiasm is cool and I, I think it's awesome to be enthusiastic about stuff and we don't need to be cynics about everything and you know just because something doesn't work for one person doesn't mean it isn't good it just means that it doesn't work so you know it's I, like I'm a big proponent of 
appreciating the technology we have and also I get really excited about what's next. And so this was really kind of the perfect show to kind of do that and talk about it. And I'm really glad that you're here now and, and you get to share. You have as much enthusiasm as I do about all of it. So I get really excited, you know, being able to come here and talk to talk to you about tech, that everything that's coming, it's great. Right, we hear we hear what the stories are and then, because we're always like, we want to have these things that are exciting to talk about. Yeah. Because they're, you know, what's going to happen the next day or they're going to lead to something big. Yeah. And that's, as odd as, as it may sound, being like, in front of the camera and being in the studio getting ready for the show are just as much fun. Yeah. Because when we're in there, we're like, okay, what tech what is going to be, which and is going to be the one people oh are going to see. Oh, man, yeah. It's like we get really so. excited about showing you guys stuff that we think you haven't seen or heard of or something you have seen or heard of with our opinions attached to it. Like that might be really fun. And we, we get really excited about everything. And we just, we like being nerds and we like, we just like knowing that like tomorrow there could be some amazing thing that happens we, that we just weren't expecting and we can share it with you. Like that's my favorite part of the show. Every day. Every day I get excited to come do this. I, I actually, one of my favorite parts of the show is also reading like comments on the YouTube because that's, that's my home. Yeah. And when I started noticing that like some of the people from the channel that shall but not be named started crossing over. Coming over and kind of hanging out. And appreciating what's what we're doing here. Yeah. Like it's a different it's a it's a more Well you've never hosted with a value. girl. I ever. did. I did, did you? Yeah. It didn't I, work out. I was gonna say I like I I don't think I've ever seen on the on, on the channel that shall not be named. Yeah. No, I did for like a week. Oh, okay. And I just I was just like this isn't working. Yeah. Because they weren't adding any adding anything. They were like hosty. You know what I mean? Ah, uh, there's a lot of that. So, but that's what I'm saying is like this is a show that's kind of like about gelling and, yeah. and conversation, and, and that's it's why about you. It's about you. That's what we like. That's why we pick the stories we pick, and yeah. that's why we have photographer and user feedback. and. Because we, we like to hear from you. It's I like you guys to think that you come here to hang out with your friends, who yeah. are us. Yeah. And, We're that's, a, and I'm a bad influence, and you're a good influence. Right, so. and so we balance each other out. Like, yeah. Kill is the corrupter, which mm -hmm. is great, and then I try to, you know, kind of keep us close to the main road of the show, but... You know, we go off on tangents. Necessary evil, necessary yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. It's something we balance each other out. <laughs> no, really but thank well. you, thank you for watching. Yeah. What's uh, your favorite part of the show so far? It's it's so like it's it's been just an experience for me. I don't think there's been like because you know there's it, I wouldn't say ups and downs. It's just like like oh like we're getting better or like yeah. hey we're coming up with new ideas and stuff like that. So I focus more on like the current and the future. So like. Yeah. The the first my favorite moment was and I don't know when it was when I understood what this show is. Yeah. It wasn't the first time I was on the show. It was like within a week, like doing a whole week with you guys, and then coming in the next week that I started realizing that this show is all about productivity. It's all about like having a, starting a conversation. It's all about like just the future and being excited about it. And that's when I was like, okay, that that's my favorite episode. I finally get it. Let's let's yeah. do this. So. I think Kale really put it great. One day we were talking about the show, and he said, "This is the show that has news you you wanted that you didn't know that you needed." Oh yeah. Like this is the show where it's like the cool conversation starters you can have with people anywhere. Like you can talk to people about any of the stories that we mention. It'll always be something maybe other people haven't heard of. Yeah, which like, I like. Like you could really do this like anywhere like school or whatever but can you imagine talking about the dress right yeah like you can just like you're at a bar you're like yeah you get a three printed dress and it looks like real fabric yeah it looks like real fabric and, and then you can like, show them no a picture way. and just start a whole conversation and that's yeah. what it's about for me you yeah know? like before i was just here's the news see you later and now it's like opening up a conversation talking to you guys reading yeah. the tweets reading the comments so. and we really dig it i mean we really we i mean Honestly, the feedback is always so good, and you guys are so smart and funny, and you surprise us all the time, which is so great. They're way smarter than us too. So much, yeah. so much smarter than us. Um, but you know, that's why we're here. We're your, we're your all, we're your tap dancing monkeys for your entertainment, and then you just tell us the smart things, and then we tell them back to you. And on that note, on that, well, first we of all, our, thank you for listening to well, that. Yeah. To that rant, to because that, well, it wasn't a rant, but it was just you know like a thank you. It was like, like right. you know, those are our, our thoughts on. We get to episodes. we get to have uh, uh, you know like <laughs> emotional unload. Every yeah, once in we a just while. emotionally unloaded we, on we, you guys. We, we like Sorry. the show. We like you. So yeah, um, call us sometimes. Do you want to check out our phone for the day? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I really liked this email. 
I'm looking at your cupcakes. Sorry. Well, you can't have any of it. Yeah. Um, I'm Over. sick. You don't want any of it. You're sick cupcake. Uh, it's very, yeah, I licked it earlier. It's very, it's, infect, it's infected. Uh, okay, so this is a really good phone talk for the day. <clears throat> Hi there, Ashley and Kale. I love your show. I've watched almost every episode pretty much since day one. My name is Mada, shortened from my extremely long full name. I'm from Palestine. However, I was born in Saudi Arabia and lived in Malaysia for quite a while. How's that for diversity? I've been using my phones for photography pretty much since I placed my hands on a camera phone, the Nokia N70. However, I have only become serious about it when I bought the Nokia N900. And he says, I actually take my phone photography seriously. Um, he sent us a link to a folder. He's like, I renamed the pictures by the device name it was taken by. I hope you find the time to go through all the pictures because honestly, it means a lot to me. Love you guys. Keep up all the great work. P.S. My favorite thing about the show is your energy and chemistry. I hope my pictures make it at the 100th episode. LOL. Kill. What? You are a mess. Kills out of control. Well, so, but the pictures are, or. you got, never mind. Uh, the pictures are an eye, which looks really awesome and kind of appropriate for our subject matter. Today yeah, how did, you, about how did that work? I don't know. It just worked out really well. And then, of course, the second picture on the right here is, uh, so there's the eye. It's, I think that's, that's incredible. Com computer generated, obviously. Yeah. So super fake. <laughs> now you can't trust anything. Super fake. Now I can't trust anything. And then our next picture is very clearly this set of whatever Silent Hill uh, anything is going on right now, because that is the scariest looking disheveled house. It's like condemned. That's pretty crazy. It's How really creepy. Well, I, I have a, an inquiry about, because you got a folder. It was like 120 pictures. Wow. And I did look through all of them. There were some really cute parrots. There were like wow. cute parrots. There's a lot of different stuff. Just all kinds of stuff. Real, all really good. I but, had some sort of blog to pick the phone tower and put Yeah, I was thinking maybe we'd be like set up a Tumblr mm -hmm. and we could just put up each phone tower for yeah, the day yeah, or something. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe we'll work on that for, new, for next year. Yeah, that's on your face. Uh, on that note, if you guys want to be uh, considered for phone tower for the day, if you want to submit your user feedback, you can always email us tomorrow at cnet.com. Uh, we read every email. We may not respond to all of them. And uh, if you absolutely hate email, that's fine because you can find us on social media. We're at Tomorrow Daily over at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, pretty much anywhere. We're Tomorrow Daily TV over on Google Plus too. And if you're all against Jai Courtney like me, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> on YouTube. I'm still sick. Please don't uh -uh. make me cough. Uh, don't forget to subscribe <laughs> on YouTube, leave a comment. Uh, I usually chatter back at, at you guys. He does. He's yeah. very active in the YouTube I, commenter. I comment way too much on YouTube. It's a delight, though. To. People you're, love it. People love it. part of the problem. But no. He is part of the problem. I'm all in there. And uh, if you're listening on iTunes and you're done with cereal, then you can, you know. Uh, this Thursday, you can officially subscribe to You can to officially Tomorrow subscribe Daily. to Tomorrow Daily and stop listing the cereal. Yeah, because it'll be over. Rate yeah, and review us, over. all that good stuff. And if you want to find us on social media, I'm Ashley Esqueda on Twitter. Kale's Kale Anonymous, pretty yeah, easy yeah, to find. Yeah, pretty easy to find. You can also go to YouTube.com slash Kale Anonymous to watch all of Kale's craziness. Yeah, if you want to. I'm I'm, right. I almost want to drag this show out a little bit more to just see how yeah. long you can keep that frosting Let's on your just, face. I just want to see how long we can make people listen to us prattle on no, nothing. I don't want anybody to suffer longer than they already have. Yeah, Plus, I'm about true. to start having a coughing fit, so I think we need to wrap the show oh, up. Oh, okay, let's see if we can do it before nope. you have the coughing that's fit. That's it for the show, everybody. We'll be back tomorrow with a brand new slate of weird, wonderful, wacky technology, geek pop culture, and gaming news. Until then, be good humans. We'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>